Hey guys, another quick video today. Time for our first oil change. We've got about 25 hours on the engine. It's been a few months, so we're gonna change out the oil. Lots of oil change videos. I'm just make, making this basically to give you a couple pointers, maybe one or two little things that I do that might help you out. Maybe a little different than what other people do, but it's all pretty straightforward stuff. First thing we do is loosen up the oil filler cap here to let air in so the oil comes out. And on my particular model, I've got a quick disconnect oil drain, so I don't even have to take off the lower fairing, which is great. So, oh man, it's gonna be hard to see up in there. If you could see, I'm pointing at it right there, is a little blue fitting. And I put this hose on it, push up and turn, and let all the oil come right out. Like I said, the lower fairing could stay in place. Obviously, the first thing I did was I went and flew around for half an hour, got the oil nice and hot, and when I opened up uh, that fitting, the oil just flowed out. I mean, it came out quickly. After about a quarter or so came out, I went ahead and got a oil sample, held it in the stream. You don't want to get it right away. You want a little bit of oil flow first and then get your sample. So I'll send that off, and they'll do some lab tests and tell me what's going on. All right, so now I'm going to take off the upper fairing so I can get at the oil filter. All right, guys, gotta get the cowling off. Let's do a time lapse up to make it a little quicker, pick up the pace and some of the boring parts. And please ignore my clothes. These are the worst clothes I own because I'm doing an oil change on my plane. So what other clothes would I wear? So yeah, kind of dress like a homeless person. Here we go. I took the screws off. There's some different types. This one's not supposed to come all the way out, but it does. So what I did is this is the left side from back to front, then the one by itself, then back to front. This is called being anal. But if you keep track of all your screws like this, chances are when you put them back in, they're all gonna fit in the holes properly. Because every once in a while, a screw is slightly bigger than another one. Put it in the wrong one, and end up you know, having to fiddle around with it. So everything's in order, here we go. All right, so that went pretty well, no problems. That's a real good time to look at your engine. Check out your cylinders, any oil leaks, anything cracked, any problems at all. We got a magneto right here, the starter, another magneto back here. Take a good look around, and here is the oil filter. I'm gonna take that off. I got a neat little trick to show you with that that might help somebody out. So the oil's all out of the plane. The next step is the oil filter. So we got the safety wire here. You have to take that off with the pliers. So I'll just kind of untwist that or you could just cut it and remove the safety wire. It's gonna be hard to do that. I'm all by myself here. So I might just do that off camera. All right, so we got the safety wire removed. Okay, so this is something else we've come up with. A mechanic friend showed me this. You take a bottle of oil, a used bottle, and you cut it open. You just cut the top part out, down and around, then underneath right here. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna put it underneath the oil filter. So when the oil drips out of the oil filter, as I loosen it, it has somewhere to go and I capture it all. So this is just a neat little trick, it might help somebody out. I kinda made my oil changes a lot less messy. Okay, we're gonna install the apparatus underneath. Should have done a time lapse on this part. All right, there we go. I don't know if you can see that, but it's completely behind. It goes all the way back here. So it's completely behind and underneath the oil filter. So it should do a pretty good job of catching everything. Famous last words. All right, lefty Lucy. And the nice thing, if you do it right, it actually captures the oil filter. And the oil filter will just fall down and rest inside there. We'll see how much mess we get.
There we go. It's off. Scoop it out of here. You're not gonna be able to see in there, but it did. It caught every drop of oil is now captured and I drip nothing. The only drips now are what's coming out of the, uh, the filter assembly. So I have a rag under there to catch that. Pretty slick. So now what I want to do is take off the old safety wire. While I have access to it, it's a lot easier to do it now and put some new on there and extend it out. And then we'll work on getting the new filter back in place. All right, so I got the old safety wire off. There's a little hole back here that you put it in. If you're looking for advice on how to do safety wire, you've come to the wrong place. I've watched some other videos on that. This is the part that I'm worst at, but I've got the tools. We'll give it a shot. And we pull it through there. And we have our little device that's going to uh, spin it around. That device is this. First, I gotta get the oil filter back in place. All right, so here's the oil filter. I've got my date on the side, the time. Now everyone knows you put a little bit of oil or there's some other stuff you could put on the seal. You really wanna get the oil on the seal, but something a lot of people don't know is you actually can put a little oil actually in the filter. And if you look at it, like I said, this is hard, I'm on a tripod, but I'm gonna put some oil in the filter itself until I fill it up. And that's taken quite a bit. So now that oil, the filter is, it's full of oil to the top. Take some of this, get it all over the gasket. This is another trick I was taught by an old, uh, old mechanic. And I tend to listen to those guys if they've been doing it for 30 years. But I put that oil in there and I filled it up. And I'll just kind of work it around. And already it's eaten up almost a, man, it seems like a quarter of a quart of oil. And all that's gonna do, I think, it's gonna get your oil pressure a little bit faster. It certainly doesn't hurt to have clean oil in the filter. And it's not really gonna drip out because like I said, uh, it's dry now. It took like a quarter of a quart of oil and it soaked it all up in the element. So that can only help us a little, get oil pressure just a, maybe a little faster. Might not be worthwhile, I don't know, but it doesn't hurt anything and I like to do it. Sorry about the tripod shaking. So, all right, now what we have to do is take this, screw it on where it goes, and then torque it down properly and put the safety wire on it. All right, guys, skipped a step there. I spun the wire around and made it look like this with my little spinny tool. You always wanna make sure you put the safety wire on the right way so it's not letting it loosen. That is the key. Here. All right, so now I got it down there. Now we're gonna get Mr. Spinny Guy and spin that around. I said I'm all alone here, so here is the spinny tool. You clamp it on and then you pull on this guy and it spins. I don't think you're gonna be able to see that very well in this shot, but this may end up on the cutting room floor. We'll just give it a shot. All right, so I'm gonna clamp it down. I'm gonna pull on this little handle. Watch it spin. As all the mechanics laugh at me that actually know how to do this. That's it, I'm gonna release it. Then we're gonna cut it down here. And then so no one gets hurt by that little sharp edge. If you can see that sharp edge, we're gonna curl it around. All right, so we're torqued down here. If this thing tries to loosen up counterclockwise, this wire's gonna stop it from moving. That's the idea. Probably get a little bit tighter on there. That's the general idea though. So this guy's secure. 
Got my rag under here I'm gonna take out now, so it shouldn't be anything else dripping. So now, gotta go down below, close up the quick disconnect oil, and then start putting the oil in. All right, guys, the most satisfying part, putting the oil in. We got some Aeroshell 15W50, good for most temperature ranges. Uh, I think it's semi-synthetic. So we're gonna dump this in. I don't know if any of you guys are weird like this like me, but when I get that old black carbon junked up oil out and I put this stuff in, it's just my favorite part of the whole thing. It just makes me feel good about what I'm doing for my engine and uh, it's pretty satisfying, I don't know. So if you're weird like me, um, we're gonna show pouring some of the stuff into the engine. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's good stuff. So much cleaner than the stuff that came out. And I did remember to go underneath and turn off that quick disconnect. That is super important. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a cord in and then I'm gonna put a little dose of CamGuard in there. Uh, CamGuard is just an oil additive and it's cheap insurance. I don't know if it, if it makes a huge difference. If it doesn't, it just seems like these engines are so expensive. Like I went over in a couple videos ago, you know, to, to overhaul one, it seems like if you could do a little extra to keep them nice and put the odds in your favor of making it to overhaul, you know, get the full 2000 plus hours out of it. Cam guard seems like a safe bet. So, and I am so weird. I hate wasting this oil at almost $10 a quart sometimes. So I'll even, I'll put it like that for a few minutes and just let it all kind of drip out of there. Next step's going to be the cam guard. All right, so here's the cam guard I'm putting in. It says to put one ounce of cam guard for each quart. So I'm putting in four and a half quarts, so I put in four and a half ounces of cam guard. And I've got a little measuring device right down there. We'll pour that in next, and then we'll finish up with the oil. All right, so our measuring device of cam guard. Put it right in the hole there. Oh, it's so hard on this tripod. Looks a lot like the oil. I'm gonna kinda let that kinda drain in there a little bit too. Supposedly that's gonna save my engine. Hopefully it does. This little motor's been running great. And the previous owner always used cam guard, so I'm just gonna keep it up. All right, uh, now we're gonna do three more quarts of oil. I do four quarts in here. If you go over the four quart line, it burns down real quick and it just stays at four for like five, 10 hours. And that's what the previous owner told me. If you put five or six quarts in this 0200, you just blow it all out. But four quarts, it seems to be pretty happy. So I'm gonna put three more in and uh, we'll do a little time-lapse fun. I don't know why. Okay, the final thing you wanna do is just slow down and take a moment. Everything that you disconnected in a valve's oil system, just recheck. So the oil filter is torqued properly to spec, safety in place. The other thing, you come over here, got the filler cap back on. And lastly, underneath the quick disconnect that that's been sealed up again. And if it wasn't, it would be uh, leaking like a sieve right now. So now we double checked everything. I'm gonna go run the engine let it run for a few minutes or maybe just 30 seconds or a minute and get out and check for leaks. All right, we're gonna start her up. So now we check for leaks underneath and by the filter, everywhere. All right, looks good. Okay, so success. First oil change is completed. 
as long as I got it all opened up and it's been a few months, I'm gonna pop the battery cover off and make sure it's got enough uh, water in there, distilled water. And we're not quite done yet. We have to, we have the filter. We're gonna cut it using this device. We're gonna cut the edge off, open it up, get the filter element out and uh, run a magnet through it. Look real close, make sure there's no metal shavings. So I'm gonna let that drain a little bit for a couple days. That's what that's there, that is there for. And then we're gonna send it off to Blackstone Laboratories and that'll really tell the story of what's going on with the engine. So check for particles in there, send off an oil analysis, and then dispose of this oil. We have a receptacle here at the airport where I could put the used oil. You always wanna dispose of that responsibly. Put the fairing back on and wrap her up. The final step, of course, is to note in the aircraft engine logbook that you did the oil change, the date, the time on the engine, how much oil you added, and note if you found any uh, metal particles in the filter, you know, just, there's lots of examples of that you could, if you're new to this, you could probably look back in your airplane logbooks if your airplane isn't brand new and find some examples of how people do logbook entries on oil changes. But that's it, take your time, go slow, be careful, and uh, it's not too hard, it's rewarding doing your own maintenance. I don't know, I was thinking about it. Some of you guys are gonna want some closure. I just can't end the video with the airplane all torn apart. So I'll do a quick time lapse, last one of the pairing coming back on. Thanks for watching.